Google has officially announced and released the third beta update of Android 12. Not only does this update bring a number of new features to the operating system, but it also finalizes the APIs of the operating system so that developers know what to expect when Android 12 is released to the public. Probably the most anticipated feature of this update is the ability to capture scrolling screenshots. This is something the Pixel community has been asking Google for for years. And it actually works a little bit differently than how OEMs implement this feature. For example, how you would see this feature used on Samsung Galaxy phones. Now, as a user, you likely won't notice any of these differences, except whenever the scrolling screenshot does not work how you would expect it to. So to give you an example, when we open up the settings application, we can take a screenshot and because the screenshot detects there is more to capture, it offers a button at the bottom. Instead of your typical edit send buttons, there is now a third option called capture more. What that does is it will then generate what the image can be captured as and give you a editor so that you can select how much of the screenshot you want to save. Now from here, we still have the ability to go in and edit and make some markup. But for just the typical scrolling type screenshot, this is how it's going to be implemented in Android 12. Now I mentioned this is implemented a bit differently than say how Samsung adds it to the One UI firmware because this is based on views rather than the image stitching technology that OEMs are using. Now there are some benefits of this. For example, this new feature will work out of the box for most applications but only if that application uses a standard view-based user interface. If the application is using a UI toolkit instead of a view-based UI, then they'll need to implement the new API called Scroll Capture. Google is also working on making this new feature work in more instances, for example, when using list views, when an application uses list views instead of just regular view based. And again, the end user will likely not notice any of these changes or any of these issues, except whenever the scrolling screenshot does not work as, ex as intended or as expected. As you can see here, we are in a website which you would think would allow me to capture a scrolling screenshot of the website. However, in Chrome as of right now, remember this is an early beta and things could change. Like I said, we're getting a change to this scrolling screenshot feature in the next beta update. So this could be added then. However, as of right now, we're not able to capture a scrolling screenshot of a website using Chrome. This is, however, working in regular applications. I just showed you in the settings application and here it is in Google News. But that is a demonstration of the new scrolling screenshot feature of the latest Android 12 beta update.